You've been to sea before. United States Navy. You AWOL? Honorable discharge. I took my out in Tokyo. Can you take care of yourself? I was a Navy SEAL. We sail at four o'clock in the afternoon. I'll be there. No! No, let me go! Let me go! Get her! Get her! <laughs> Have any identification? Uh, my jacket pocket. What jacket? Somebody must have stolen it. Yeah, that's him. He killed the girl. I saw him. I saw him. He killed yeah, the man. He's the one. Who him. Yeah, he did. He's the one. He's the one. Cop him. Those bastards are lying. I didn't kill anyone! Take him down the You're making a mistake! You're arresting the wrong man! <laughs> John Merrill, you have been found guilty of the crime of murder in the first degree. I hereby sentence you to life imprisonment on the Bolera Island prison colony. Everyone, one line. Uh, Boom. Uh, yeah. 
come to Borel Island. I am Warden Nacosta. You all have met Mr. Vargas, the captain of the guard. And if any one of you should catch Captain Vargas and his men, nothing. Shots! Never, never cease! enough trouble by killing the Paris boy. And still you haven't found the ledger that he stole. I will find it. You better! I still think Uncle Paul knows where it is. But I can't break him. Uncle is alone now. Put Marilyn with him. Perhaps if he wears him down, maybe he'll deal. Vargas, tell Alvarez. I'm sure he will be interested. Hey, old man! Off your ass and clear off that bunk! Who is this? Terrace's replacement.
the Alvarez. Ah. That white guy I just brought through here? Yeah, what about him? He killed Chavez. His name is Merrill. Hey, Merrill. Yeah. We got a special job for you. <laughs> yeah. Let me see how you like dumping piss buckets and breaking rocks. This lovely companion of yours, Helen Ferris, Warden Acosta. Warden. A pleasure. Miss Ferris is with the Human Rights International. I see. Will you please sit down? How can I help you? I'm here concerning one of the inmates, Emilio Perez. Yes. A most unfortunate incident. He was killed attempting to escape. According to a letter we received, it says that Perez was killed because he had evidence against you. What kind of evidence? That you were stealing funds from prison labor, funds that go to clothe and feed the inmates. Where is this letter? It was sent to us anonymously. Warden, I would like to question the inmates and the guards. This prison is filled with the waste of criminals in Asia. We have to maintain discipline. 29 dead inmates in two years is more than just discipline. Force is the only language they understand. And how much force is it going to take to make you understand that I don't take no for an answer? We both know your group has no legal authority here. Miss Ferris's group is here at Governor Diaz's request, Biden. Why? It seems the governor is close to the dead boy's family. I'll be back with my people in one week. And Warden, let's just hope there are no more unfortunate incidents before my return. Just like you used on Chavez? Give me that. Give me that, little twerp. Give me. No. 
I'm not hungry anyway. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Better watch yourself, Uncle. That white trash the warden put in your house, he's dangerous. He's the one who killed Chavez. Where did you hear that? Alvarez. He murdered a woman, too. Alvarez will do him the first chance he gets. You can bet on it. I just hope for your sake, son. <laughs> Split, Gook, fuck. See, pal, get here. Gook sit with Gooks. Whitey sit with Whitey. Or Honky, or Howley, or Gringo, or whatever the fuck they call us. Listen. Me and the boys heard what you did in the mainland, so we know you ain't no gook lover. Name's Sacker. John Merrill. John Merrill. All right, Johnny. Fact isn't here. White boy's got to stick with his own kind. Especially the guy that whacked Alvarez's blood brother. Who's Alvarez? <laughs> See that big guy over there, the big one with the tattoos? He's a very bad dude, and he wants you dead. He's going to be coming after you, Merrill. You know, we figured it out. If us gringos are gonna survive in here, we gotta stick together. Any of these gooks fuck with us, we whacked them. They left us alone. <laughs> you ever thought about just busting out of here? Forget that shit. Since I've been here, ten tried. All caught, all shot. There ain't no fucking way off this rock, bro. Hey, dig it, dig it. I'm Navy just like you. Sep. I got busted out for being too much of a goof, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, anyway, fuck that shit. Listen, I come over here to offer you a membership in our exclusive club. <coughs> what do you say? I'll think about it. <laughs> Back to work! Move your asses! He'll think about it. Sorry.
You! Go down that hill and break up that hard pan. to my attention that the Asian inmates have a vendetta against you. So for your own safety, I'm transferring you to the motor pool with the other white inmates. Gee, Warden, I didn't know you cared. <coughs> Shut your mouth. Don't push your luck. Let's go. Why? Asian inmates hate him. They'll keep going after him even if they kill all the rest of the white inmates in the process. That would trigger a race riot. Exactly. The perfect cover we have to chance killing uncle before those human rights people show up. Good shit, babe. <laughs> Sure. Guard, guard. Hey, bro, what's happening? Warden assigned me here. You gonna join our little group? I said I'd think about it. Well, while you're thinking, let me introduce some of the boys. This is Lou. He got life for sticking some gook, same as you. There's Dork. This here's Grease Monkey. He ran the motor pool back in Da Nang in 73. Old Grease Monkey here's the reason we got this cushy job, right? Right. right. So it's my job. Hey, lighten up, man. This is as close to heaven as you'll find in this fucking hole. Yeah, we keep the trucks running for the local land baron to haul ore and the screws let us be. Hey, you want to smoke a little dopey? Uh, drink some good moonshine? Nope. I just want to know what my job is, okay? You know trucks? Some. Well, we're dropping the oil out of these. You can start down at the far end here. Get to work. Fucking little brown monkey. This is Whitey's turn. So fuck. Oh. Hey. Oh. Oh. Get out of here. My fucking place, brother. Get out. Shit here, I give the orders. Leave 
Leave him alone. He's had enough. You signed me to go. <laughs> you. Leave him alone. I'll put this wrench right through your skull. Your man will rip you apart. Yeah, maybe so, but you won't let see it. <laughs> Big mistake, Merrill. You're dead, you fuck! I heard about what you did for Ruiz. Who? The man with the scar. Mary. Yeah. Did you kill that woman? No. A guy named Chavez killed her. Trying to save her, I jumped him, and during the struggle, he fell on his own knife. Witnesses? Three of Chavez's friends. Of course, they all testified that I tried to rape her, and when he interfered, I killed him. Did you have legal counsel arranged by your embassy? Fat chance. The local Gestapo wouldn't even let me make a phone call. You know, Merit, there's an organization to help people like you. It's called Human Rights International. I've been trying to contact them. I'll include your case in my next letter. Under the circumstances, there might be a good chance they could force an appeal. Who are you kidding? The war would never allow those letters to leave the island. The war never sees these letters. How? Never mind how. Fact is, I've been trying to help a lot of inmates. You're not the only one in here on a bum rap. So that explains the law books. <laughs> a man's got to have a hobby. Warden doesn't object. Choice of reading matter is one of the few privileges that he allows us. Anyway, with any luck, that pig's days as a warden unnumbered. And how's that? Before you came, I had a cellmate, Paris. He got hold of a ledger that proved Augusta was ripping off the prison funds. Vargas tortured him till he died. Without that hard evidence, I'm afraid it's a long shot at best. But in the meantime, the name of the game is survival. <laughs> Easy for you to say. I've just got every inmate in this prison trying to stomp my ass. Not every inmate, Mary. Uncle. Yes?
Did you see that? That's disgusting. What do you say we give that sloth loving dickhead lesson for what he done to Sack? I'm for it. The way I figure, if he ain't with us, he's against us. I don't see any screws around. Let's go for it. three of my boys. I got an image to keep. I'm the leader. Do you want that appeal or not? Hey, wasted two of your people. I figured I was doing you and Elver as a big favor. Tavis wasn't one of my people. And Alvarez and I have nothing in common. Mary is in my house now. I want him left alone. Understand? Yeah. I'm going to be sure.
fuck, he's out, man. They fucking let him out. Where are they taking him? Uncle's field crew. Why do they have to send him out here? That white man is nothing but trouble. Nonsense. You've been listening to Alvarez too much, Jojo. Don't believe everything you hear. The warden's assigned Merrill to you, Uncle. Put him to work. Hey, Alvarez. You feeling all right, Ben? Yeah, I'm fine. What is it? What are you looking at? Way to get off this stinking island. It's a warden's private launch. It's never left unguarded. You couldn't even get close. Maybe so. But there's no harm in thinking about it. Just be patient, Barry. I have good news for you. I sent that letter about your case to the human rights people. And I have it on good authority that my letter got through. And that makes my news for you even better. I found your ledger. Just looking for Uncle. He's there. Mr. Happy, so I can dig this. Kick his ass! <laughs> Time to die. Now you're gonna pay for Chavez. to do with this.
Oh, you righteous killers! This whole herd of you! Against just one man. You must frighten these people very badly, Mary. Look how many came. Just for you. And why did they come? Hmm? You! One! What do you have against this man? Hmm? You! Pinjo! And you! What did he do against you? That you didn't force him to? <laughs> you hear that, boys? Uncle turns against you! Look! You may not like me, but you know Uncle. He's the one who's been helping all of us to try and get out of this hellhole. Look at Alvarez, the big man, letting others do the fighting for him. Why don't you fight your own fights for a change? I will. Is it true? I don't hate anyone. I know Alvarez told you I killed an Asian woman. I didn't. It was Chavez who killed her. Yes, we know what kind of man Chavez was, don't we? Remember what Chavez was in for? Hmm? He stabbed an Asian man in the back during a robbery. I believe Mary. And if you look at it logically, you will too. But you've got to stop being led by your hate and think clearly for once. He's saying that he'd rather help this white man rather than his own people. Ah, Meryl is the same as the rest of us. He's just a man. And he's my friend. Hey, hey, come on, man, come on. Hey, Sacker. Oh, Over shit. Here, come on. Some screws. Come on, let's get him out of here. Come on, come on, move, come on. We're all in this prison. All we have is each other. If we're going to fight, we've got to fight the system that put us here. Not each other. Come on. Hey! What's happening here? Oh! Uh, uh. Back to work! What you got there, Doc? A love letter? No more special deliveries, Uncle. Your main man has just taken an indefinite leave of absence. I had always suspected it was you. You should not have broken the rules. What are you going to do about it, Warden? <clears throat> kill me! My Paris! I am not going to kill you, up. Quite to the contrary, in fact. Because of your anonymous letter, the human rights people are coming tomorrow to investigate. And I'll tell them to talk to you. 
even you can be that stupid. What are you up to, Acosta? I am simply confident that you will return to me my account book. And you will tell them that all your letters are nothing but malicious lies. <laughs> Maybe you are that stupid. I'm offering you a trade, Uncle. You return my ledger. I'll arrange for your pardon. Bear this in mind. The human right people cannot help you. I can. You have 24 hours to decide. I think uh, they'll take you up on it. Maybe. We better play safe. Keep on, keep on, come on. Yeah. 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 Soft, about white. Wacker barrel. Stay online. Me neither. He got up the wrong side of this, you're going up very dead. Hey, I'm not side with anybody. You do what you have to do. Just leave me out of it, too. Hey, fuck with me. Well, maybe you had it coming. Hey, watch your mouth, shitbag. Of what? You kill us, white boys. <laughs> hey, Sacker. Come with me. I don't want to talk to you. Uh, come on. Vargas <laughs> stands. Mary and uncle are making life a little bit uncomfortable for you boys these days. I guess you could say that, Warden. The old fart almost busted my balls. You men have reputations to protect. Your status as honchos. Among your peers could be in jeopardy. No shit. My men are definitely turning against me, and that's a fact. Yeah, mine too. Maybe I could help you do something over that. Cooperate with me. And I'll back you with whatever it takes to protect your reputations. What do you got in mind, Warden? For certain reasons. Uncle has been a nuisance to me, too. I may want him eliminated. But it has to be done exactly as I say. You're the boss. You've got to give it to him, Uncle. It's your only hope for a way out of here. He's lying. He killed me before he gave me a pardon. Then we have to try and escape. That's impossible. You getting to talk to these human rights people is just as impossible. Maybe. But if there's one chance in a billion to make them see what's going on in here, I've got to take it! Smell something? Yeah. yeah. Smells like shit. <laughs> I want to talk to you. Uh, buzz off, old man. Listen to me, both of you. A human rights group is coming today. I want your help to organize a demonstration. If we can show a united front against Acosta, then maybe we can get things changed here. Maybe we like things just the way they are. Alvarez, talk to your men. We must not lose this opportunity. We can beat them if we work together. You're wasting your time. 
<laughs> we'll sell that brotherhood shit to somebody who wants it. Saka, I helped you when you asked me. Now hey, I... you can take that appeal and jump it up your ass. We both know I ain't never getting off this rock. So stay the fuck out of my face! Everyone, back to your cell blocks. Work's over today. Okay, move! Move! Hey, Mel. Too bad about your girlfriend. <laughs> That's what he wants. Now, come on. Come on. You are aware, Warden, of the investigation that we've been conducting on the mainland. You found nothing. These letters we received accuse you of everything from graft to murder. These are pretty serious accusations. Yes, of course. Merely the handwork of a demented inmate. At dinner time, I'll introduce to you the letter writer. And you'll find out for yourself. Ah, uh, Lopez. Yes, Warden. Bring our distinguished guests to the guest town. They might want to relax and freshen up a bit. This way, please. We are running out of time here. That is his choice. 
If he doesn't come across by dinner time, you know what to do. going to get to meet this mysterious letter writer, Warden. <laughs> In due time, Miss Ferris. First, let us finish dining. Then we can go down to business. <laughs> it can't be soon enough for me. <laughs> I'm not buying that trick this hour, you bastard. Dead. Metal killed him. Who gives a fuck? That old chink with nothing but a useless sack of shit yeah, anyway. Is he good for Meryl, huh? Uh, sit down and shut up. And I say, we're gonna cut these white pukes up into little pieces and feed them to the sharks. <laughs> to stop this. What do you suggest I do, Miss Ferris? Come on. Gun them down? Let's do it. Let's do it. That would be violating their human rights. Stop it! Everyone listen to me! I did not kill Uncle. It was all a setup. Don't you see what's going on here? Don't you get it? They want us to fight each other. Sacker and Alvarez, they're the ones that killed Uncle. Don't listen to that crazy motherfucker! And he's the one who put him up to it. He and Vargas have been after Uncle for months. And you know why? I'm warning you, Marilyn. Uncle knew all about their crooked little racket. These two have been bleeding money out of the prison and keeping it. You can deny it, Warden. But I know it's true, and so do they. That man is insane. We're aware of these accusations, but we need proof. <laughs> Vargas, get these people out of the islands now! We're not going anywhere. We came to this island to get some answers, and we're not leaving until we get them. I'm staying too. It's too dangerous. We'll risk it. Very well. But I will not be responsible for your safety. Uh, 
Get the fucking door open. What's the matter, you big turd? Vargas, 
clear those inmates out. If they don't move, shoot them. Fucking bastard. I should have killed son of a bitch. Let's get them. Move! Right now. Let's die! My son, put the rifle down. Christ forgives all sins. He'll forgive yours as well. How did you get the island? 
Helicopter. Let's go for it. This way. <laughs> Congratulations. What kind of a chance does an escaped convict have for getting an appeal? Well, considering the circumstances, I think that I might be willing to vouch for you. Sounds good to me. In fact, I might even get to like it. Out in the city. You can't watch your step, they don't know who you are, they ain't heard about your...